But nothing's going to change. I don't know how we ever expect to win. John Boehner, the whimpering poster boy for the left-right paradigm and its inner corporate mechanizations. The man that oversees the shameful backdoor deals rampant in the nation's capital that have spiraled out of control and, and spilled out into the main streets of America. Needs to be fired. He's nothing but a low-down, double-dealing, backstabbing, larcenous, perverted world. Hagen's too good for him. Burning's too good for him. Representative Mark Meadows, a Republican from District 11 in North Carolina, introduced House Resolution 385 on July 28th. The resolution requires 29 Republican members of the House to vote to vacate the chair. The Republican Speaker of the House, John Boehner, would then need to beg Democrats to save his treasonous skin. This action has never succeeded in the House and has only been attempted once, 105 years ago. So why should we fire John Boehner? Well, the Mark Meadows resolution lists a number of grievances. A few of those include, Boehner caused the power of Congress to atrophy, thereby making Congress subservient to the executive and judicial branches. Boehner is using the power of the office to punish members who vote according to their conscience instead of the will of the speaker. John Boehner used his political ally, Oversight Chairman Jason Chavitz, to punish Meadows by releasing him of his subcommittee chairmanship for voting against the procedural motion to fast-track the TPP. But Chavitz and Boehner couldn't bully Meadows out of his chair after conservatives rallied strong disapproval. Boehner is making it abundantly clear. Speak the will of the American people and you will be punished. Other grievances include providing for voice votes on consequential and controversial legislation to be taken without notice and with few members present. Another grievance reads, John Boehner does not comply with the spirit of the rules, which provide that members shall have three days to review legislation before voting. The American people can't even see what's in the TPP. Uh, in the House, the American people's priorities continue to be our priorities. Free trade is good for jobs. Uh, it's good for America's farmers, manufacturers, and small businesses. Uh, trade votes are never a, an easy lift around here, but Republicans uh, are continuing to work, uh, and we're seeing some positive uh, momentum in the right direction. And remember when Nancy Pelosi said this. But we have to pass the bill so that you can uh, find out what is in it. Any of your listeners, whatever state they might be in, if they would call their member of Congress, all of them are home now for the next three, four weeks, actually, and call them and ask them to tell the person that answers the phone to remind that congressman that he or she could join in this resolution to vacate the chair. And if we can get enough votes, what will happen, we will have a straight up and down vote on who the next speaker, speaker should be to replace John Bain. The H, Con, H Resolution 385 is now in the Rules Committee. The Rules Committee will be the committee that will determine to send this back to the full House, meaning back to the floor of the House, for a vote. Every member sitting on the floor of the House will have a chance to vote. Uh, to vacate the chair, and then that would mean there would be another vote for the Speaker of the House, uh, and it would be a new person if that happened. So that's where it is. Combat that lingering feeling of defeat we Americans have endured daily for years. Make your voice heard. Call, email, or personally ask your representative to vacate the chair. This is your country. It doesn't belong to blubbering traitorous scum like John Boehner. Fire John Boehner. Resist the tyranny. This is how our founders set up the system for peaceful revolution. John Bound for Infowars.com.